Welcome back to Friday Crypto. We have Chainlink on our daily update. Today we're going to look at the daily chart uh, with the Gaussian channel and some moving averages. That's all we got. I know it looks a little busy, but it's just the Gaussian channel and a handful of moving averages. So the big picture of Chainlink Mountain. We're down at the base. So where will we stop? Nobody knows. But we are at uh, kind of a key levels here, right? We're approaching key support. Now we're on the verge of trying to break back into the Gaussian channel, which is about uh, 640 or so. It's right above the 21 day EMA right now, as you see there. Uh, so watch for that if we get a move to the upside. But the bigger, more important, um, the the bigliest uh, support zone is is right right around 590. As we looked at yesterday in our three month uh, chain link chart, on our monthly chain link chart, our weekly chain link chart, it's it's 590, right? If we close under that. It's highly probable that, you know, not just Chainlink, but all of crypto is going for another leg down. Uh, but Chainlink especially, if we close, not just a wick, you can see several wicks, right, at the support. And how do you know if this is support? You want multiple tests. If support doesn't form until you have at least two touches. So right here, that I was identified as support. Then we got a third one right here, right? And then a couple more even here. So that's where we are. And we're approaching that right now. Um, so... Uh, a close, a daily close under 590 would likely spell uh, more downside. And we looked at support levels yesterday. Um, so go check that video out if you want to know what that level is. Um, but I have a feeling most of you watching now probably watched that yesterday. Uh, so um, if we drop under here, it's highly probable just the odds go up because that's all you have in crypto is to play the odds. The odds would increase of us more downside, uh, probably to that uh, support zone. I think it starts around $5. Uh, so we'll see. Um, so stay stay monitoring that. Um, if you're still in it, right? If you've ridden the 90% wave down, I mean, uh, what's what's a little bit more, right? Just weather the storm and you'll come out of it. Now, if you've if you bought over here at six seven dollars, then you know if you're wanting to get out, then okay. But if you're down 90%, uh, selling now is usually not it's not usually good to buy high and sell low, right? When have you heard that? Not, not really ever by anyone uh, that knows anything about anything, right? Uh, so the, this is how bottoms attempt to form. Now, we, you, now I say attempt, uh, right? We're, we're flattening out. You want to flatten out your moving averages, which we're attempting to do. So whether or not we capitulate ahead, whether we go down and go sideways at $5 for a month, right? Who knows? But um, just wanted to bring your attention to, you know, the upside, we're close to the Gaussian channel on the daily. To the downside, we're close to support. So we're getting squeezed out here. We'll see what we end up doing in the next handful of days. We're up 2%, 2.5% today as of recording. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. As Bitcoin kind of flattens out here, you, you'll see some uh, kind of green uh, out of vaults across the board here. So um, that's that's kind of what, ha what happens. If Bitcoin chills out, uh, altcoins can kind of start coming out to play. Now, if Bitcoin drops 5%, most altcoins will also drop 5% plus, more than 5%, right? Uh, that's just how it works. Um, if Bitcoin goes up 5%, maybe altcoins have a chance, but usually Bitcoin kind of is the market mover, at least for now. So well, watch Bitcoin, watch Chainlink, watch whatever alts you're in, watch for support lines. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment uh, below. Um, happy to uh, try to respond to all comments. Uh, so if you have any questions about this, uh, let's briefly look at the five-day Gaussian channel. Uh, you can see that we're the the lowest we've ever been on the five-day Gaussian channel. We've only been outside of it briefly back in here, uh, but we're well under it now, right? So this is certainly the hardest uh, hitter bear market for Chainlink. Um, so we're looking to form a bottom here, right? So maybe we end up wicking down lower, but you know, this is a nice sign to see us flattening out. Wait, have any of you seen multiple five-day candles basically flatlined here, right? That's exactly what you want to see for a bottom to uh, attempt to start to form. So um, good things coming, right? Red, The red Gaussian channel just means prolonged consolidation, which we're getting. So just patience and, you know, the next run, I think we'll all be well rewarded, um, you know, assuming, you know, you have more than one chain link. <laughs> Want more than one cube stacked. All right, so uh, that's it in a nutshell. Let's go take a look see at the quote of the day. The traveler sees what he sees. The tourist sees what he has come to see. Think on that. Car of the day, 1957, Chevrolet Corvette. My opinion, the best 
designed old school Corvette ever. That is amazing. All right. Nice, short, and sweet five minute video. We'll do more of these daily updates. You deserve it. <laughs> From Ghostbusters, remember that? They gave him the candy bar, gave Ray. And... No. Um, all right.